Hello everyone, ang ating discussion in our tonight session is all about minimum radius of curvature for horizontal curves. So we have now the minimum radius of curvature for horizontal curves. And to start with, for our discussion, allow me to show this figure to each and every one of you. As we can see, we have the given weight here, which is acting downward to the center of gravity. And then pointing to the right, we have W times B square over GR wherein yung G at yung ating uh, acceleration due to gravity. And then we have the velocity, which is actually raised to the second power. And we have the value of the radius, which is in a diagonal position with an angle of inclination along the y-axis. And that is also equal to this angle of inclination with respect to x-axis. And then from this point, Mula sa ibaba, we have a height or depth of E kung saan ang ating sasakyan ay naka-incline with an angle of theta again. Now, by doing the, this method or polygon method, usually in vector analysis, we always start with the first vector in a counterclockwise position. So magsisimula tayo sa W kung mangalawa ang um, W B square over GR and then followed by the vector R. So dito tayo magsisimula sa W. So after nyan, after natin na draw yung uh, arrow doon sa tip ng W, doon tayo magsisimula ang muling gumuwit ng vector. At ang sumulod na vector naman after ng W, is WB square over GR in a counterclockwise rotation. So ito siya. After natin na draw yung line o yung arrow to sa tip, ay magsisimula muli tayo mag-drawing muli ng isa pang R. Kapag pinag-connect natin yung dalawang yan, yan ang magiging value natin ng R. Which is makakapag-drawing tayo actually ng right triangle. And if we want to determine for the value of R, we simply apply the Pythagorean theorem. Actually, pwedeng-pwede natin gawin yun para ma-determine lang ang value ng R. And for the continuation, ito yung mga legends at ibig sabihin ng mga variables na meron tayo. B stands for the design speed in kilometer per hour unit. Yan ang ating uh, velocity. And then E, na tinatawag naman nating super elevation. Ito yung depth kanina na ating inaanap or nakasaad sa ating sketch. And then F, we have the coefficient of sliding friction or slide friction. As we can see, nakaslope yung ating uh, roadway na mayroong uh, super elevation. And then R is the minimum radius of curvature in meter. Then we have theta as the angle of bearing or embankment, or we simply say angle of inclination. D stands for the degree of curvature in degrees. So dapat eh, kabisado natin yung mga legends kapag Ang pinag-uusapan is minimum radius of curvature for horizontal curves at saka yung concept and even the formula that we have to use when dealing with the minimum radius of curvature for horizontal curves. So as a continuation of the minimum radius of curvature, we have actually this given formula. So that we can calculate for the value of R, we have to use this formula R is equal to B square all over 127 times A plus F. And then the formula for finding the value or the amount of degree of curvature in degree measure, we have D is equals to 1145.916 all over R. Or ito din yung ating tinatawag na arc, base, arc basis sa root star base na ating inaaral kapag ang pinag-aaralan natin is simple curve concept. And then we also have the ideal angle of embankment. In order for us to calculate for the angle of embankment, 
tangent theta is equal to its opposite over adjacent na kung saan ang ating opposite ay yung velocity na naka-square. And then gr, yung ating uh, denominator or tinatawag natin adjacent kapag tayo ay nag-form ng triangle, ng right triangle, I mean. And then for the maximum speed at which a car can round the car without skidding, we have this formula, tangent theta plus alpha is equal to b square over gr10. And then for the centrifugal ratio or impact factor, ang formula man naman na ating ginagamit ay ito. Impact factor is equal to b square over gr. Kung kaibahan lang, yung uh, isang formula, uh, yung impact factor and tangent theta, dito kapag ginanap yung angle, ay eh, may shift tangent tayo sa ideal angle of embankment. Sa impact factor naman, ang value ng tangent theta ang ating gagamitin. Pwede namang i-equate para maanap ang impact factor. Now, for the continuation, I prepare a sample problem which was given uh, that was which was given to the examinees uh, that was the Ted C board exam November 1998. Yung board exam na naisagawa noong November 1998. I think ito yung time na kung saan ay nagtake ako ng license for examination. And definitely yung question na yan ay aking naranasan dahil isa yan sa mga tanong na Aking sinagot kung bakit ako nakapasa ng licensure examination. A highway curve has a super elevation of 7 degrees. We need to determine the radius of curvature so that there will be no lateral pressure between the tires and the roadway at a speed of 40 miles per hour. So if we're going to draw the figure similarly to the concept that I gave you a while ago. And for our given, velocity is equal to 40 miles per hour. Next, we have to convert first 40 miles per hour. I think into meter per seconds. So let us always remember that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet and one hour is 3,600 seconds. And also, and also one meter is equal to 3.28 feet. Since we have to convert the miles per hour into meter per second, so we will use these conversion factors. First, we have to convert miles to feet. That is why we have multiplied by 5,280 feet over one mile. And then we have to convert feet into mile. That's why we have multiplied by one mile, uh, one meter over 3.28 feet. In this given situation, makakancel na ang um, pareong miles. And then, parehong feet. Ang matitirang unit na lang, kapag distansya ang pinag-uusapan is in meter. And then, since meter per second ang ating target na maging unit ng ating velocity, na kailangan ay may convert natin ng 40 miles per hour into meter per second, we need to convert r into seconds. And 1 hour is equal to 3,600 seconds. That is why we need to multiply this equation by 1 hour over 3,600 seconds. Cancel ang parehong R. And then ang matitira na lang ng mga unit is meter over seconds or meter per seconds. Knowing the value of our velocity, if we're going to calculate it, our conversion will become 17.89 meter per second. Ang ibig sabihin niya ng 40 miles per hour, kapag unit na gagamitin natin is meter per second, ang magiging value nito is 17.89 meter per second. And since ang pinapaanap is to determine the radius of curvature, we need to determine the radius of curvature. So maaanap na natin yan. Bakit? Ang theta natin is given naman, that is the angle of embankment or inclination which is equal to 7 degrees. May value na tayo ng velocity. May value na tayo ng acceleration due to gravity which is actually a constant one. Hindi naman nababago ang value ng acceleration due to gravity. That is always equal to 9.81 meter per second square. So isang variable na lang ang di natin alam at maaanap na natin yan gamit ang equation na to o formula na yan. Direct substitution, we can uh, tangent 7 is equal to 17.89 square over 9.81 R. Then finally, 
ang value na ating inaanap for the radius of curvature r is equal to 265.71 meters. So, yan ang ating final answer sa pagkalkula ng radius of curvature sa ating given problem. Now, another situation or another problem na naibigay no May 2015, uh, this is also a recent licensure examination question. And ang sabi, ano yung problem? Compute the impact factor for horizontal curve Radius of 400 meters if the design speed is 120 km per hour. Ibinigay yung radius of curvature, 400 meters, at ang um, velocity, or the design speed is 120 km per hour. Ang pinapaanap is the impact factor. Wherein, naibigay ko na kanina ang formula ng impact factor, and this is actually the formula for the impact factor. May value na tayo ng velocity, may value tayo ng radius, at ang g naman is constant na may value na 9.81 meter per second square. Direct substitution, pwede na natin isagawa yan. Kaya lang mukhang kailangan pa natin i-convert ang velocity or ang speed ng ating uh, uh, vehicle. Ito no, uh, na kailangan may apply. So we need to convert kilometer per hour into meter per second and we have it as 33.33 meter per second. Tandaan ang 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter at ang 1 hour naman is 3,600 seconds. Nasa gayon na hindi tayo mahirapang may convert ang kilometer per hour sa meter per second. So ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang katumbas ng 120 kilometer per hour, kapag kinonvert natin into meter per second, we have 33.33 meter per second. So wala na tayong magiging problem dahil ang unit naman ng ating distance o ng ating tinatawag na horizontal curve radius is 400 meters at nasa meter ang kanyang uh, unit na ating ginagamit. And take note, constant naman ang value ng G, acceleration due to gravity and that is 9.81 meter per second square. Now we can already calculate for the impact factor by direct substitution given ang velocity, given ang value ng g, given din ang value ng radius of curvature. Now, finally, yan lang ang value ng ating impact factor which is equal to 0 0.283. Yan pala ang tamang sagot sa isang tanong na naibigay noong May 2015, licensure examination ng civil engineering. And we have another problem, seaboard problem pa rin, a highway curve having a radius of 400 feet is banked so that there will be no lateral pressure on the car's wheel at a speed of 48 km per hour. What is then the angle of elevation of the embankment? So, dahil yung radius natin nasa feet, kailangan natin may convert yan into meter at yung 48 km per hour naman into meter per second if yun ang kailangan. Depende kasi yan sa mga choices. Now, it is again the figure that we have to master the concept when dealing with the radius of curvature, or minimum radius of curvature for horizontal curves. So for our solution, so that we can easily determine the angle of elevation or the angle of embankment or inclination, first you have to write a given radius of 400 feet and we need to convert it into meters. Let us always remember that one meter is equal to 3.28 feet as a conversion factor that we have to use so that we can convert feet into meters. So assuming na convert na natin ang ating radius from feet to meters and the amount is equal to 121.95 meters as our radius. And the velocity of 48 km per hour, again, we have to convert it into meter per second. So always remember that one kilometer is 1,000 meter and one hour is 3,600 seconds, so that we can easily convert the kilometer per hour unit to meter per second. So ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang katumbas ng 48 kilometer per hour is 13.33 meter per second. Now, since you already have all the givens that we have to use, given na ang hour at ang velocity, at uh, homogeneous na yung ating mga units, maaari na natin kalkulay ng angle of elevation. The velocity is 13.33 meter per second, so direct substitution lang tayo dyan. Ang G is 9.81 meter per second squared, ang R naman is 121.95 meters. Now, by direct substitution, ito na ngayon ang value ng ating angle of elevation.
8.45 degrees as our final answer. <coughs> and that's all for today. Thank you and God bless everyone. Maraming salamat po.